Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm very excited for this video today. It is a collab with Amber from Sweet Painted Lady. Um, I found her on Instagram where I was just kind of scrolling through pictures and I saw a picture that I liked of a certain makeup look and so I clicked on it and it was her Instagram. And I started looking through all of her looks that she had posted and I just really, really liked her, the looks that she had on there. So I contacted her and I just thought it would be a good idea for us to do a collab together. Um, and what we decided to do was a Valentine's Day collab. So she's going to be doing the nighttime Valentine's Day look using high-end products and I'm doing a daytime look using drugstore products. So I'm going to go ahead and link her channel down below. Um, I'll probably have the video link down there so you guys can go ahead and check out her video and see what she came up with. If you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look right here, my daytime Valentine's Day look using drugstore products, please keep watching. Hello, naked face. Okay, so I did moisturize with my Aveeno Daily Moisturizer. And then I'm going to go in and do my brows. And today I'm using uh, my Maybelline The Nudes palette for that. I'm just using that kind of brown gray color that's in there with an angled brush and using that to fill in my brows. This is really the only thing that I can find that matches my brows from the drugstore. And then I prime my eyes with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I've said this before, but I like to use white just because it really brightens up my eyes as well as adds a good base for bright shadows to stick to. And then I'm going to take this palette from Wet n Wild, it's called Poster Child, and I'm going to take that pink shade there that's supposed to be for your eyelid, uh, but I'm going to use that as kind of my transition color. And then I'm going to take that hot pink shade, which is the crease shade, and I'm using a brush from Crown Brush and just blending that all over my crease. And I'm going to really work on blending this really well. Can you guys see how pigmented that is? This eyeshadow only cost $2.50. I think it was originally $5, but I got it 50% off, which $5 I think is still a great deal for this. Next, I'm gonna go in with that light pink shade, the brow bone shade. I'm actually gonna use it in my brow bone. Then I'm taking this L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow, and the color is Always Pearly Pink. And I'm using that as my all over the eyelid shade. And I'm gonna actually apply it twice because I really want it to be bright and light on my eyelids. Next, I'm gonna line my eyes with my L'Oreal Super Slim Eyeliner. And I do have a video, which I just posted the other day, on how I do my eyeliner. And I will go ahead and link that for you guys below. But I'm just doing a wing liner. And I'm using the same technique that I did in that video. I'm going to go back into that Wet n Wild palette and take that black definer shade and I'm going to use that to kind of smudge the eyeliner that I just placed. And what I want to achieve with this is I want to thicken up the eyeliner without making it too harsh. So I'm trying to soften it as well. And now I want to conceal and I'm using my Match Perfection from Rimmel. And what I like about this is that it has peach tones to it. So I don't like to use it on its own as a concealer, but I like to use it underneath my foundation. So what I do is I place it anywhere I have darkness. So underneath my eyes, I get like veins around my mouth uh, and darkness around my mouth. So I put it all over that. And it kind of, because it has the peach tones, helps to conceal that darkness. And then I place my foundation on top of that. And for my foundation, I'm using my L'Oreal True Match in the shade Neutral and my Ready Set Gorgeous from CoverGirl in the shade 220. And I'm using a Real Techniques blending sponge to blend that out. And the reason that I'm using two different ones is the L'Oreal True Match is a tad bit too dark and the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous is a tad bit too light. So if I mix the two together, I kind of get my perfect shade as well as the L'Oreal Lumi. Um, sometimes I don't like the glowiness of it. 
and they register it gorgeous. Sometimes I don't like the matteness of it. So if I put them together, I get kind of a perfect combination of glowy and matte together. It's really weird, but this is just a good combination for me. So I'm gonna take that pink eyeshadow again from L'Oreal and place that all underneath my lash, or on my bottom lash line, as well as in my inner corner to help brighten everything up. You know me, I'm all about brightness. So then I'm going to take that hot pink shade again, the crease shade, and I'm going to place that all over my lower lash line as well to just pull everything together. And then I'm going to take that black definer shade and place that just on the outer third of my eye, really blending it out. And I'm going to blend it actually into that wing that I have on top as well. And next I'm going to do my brightening concealer and I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me in the color Sand. And I'm just going to place that in triangle shapes underneath my eyes. I'm going to place it down the center of my nose, on my forehead, on my chin, and above my lip. And then I'm going to take my blending sponge again and just blend it all out. And I say this every time, but uh, if you're going to go a few shades lighter with your concealer like I do, really, really make sure that you blend that very well because you don't want it to be a harsh contrast between your foundation and your concealer. And to set all of this, I'm going to use an e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder. And this is just pretty much like a translucent powder. And I use it underneath my eyes and then anywhere where my foundation will crease. So like on my fine lines and my, around my mouth as well as the lines that I have on my forehead. Ten points if you can guess what song I'm singing. Okay, so then I'm going to do my contour, and I'm using my BH Cosmetics Contour Kit, and you can see I haven't used this in a few weeks, so I forgot how pigmented that color is. So I put way too much on my brush, and it came out crazy on my face. So I really, really had to work on blending this out. If you are going to use this palette, do not forget how pigmented it is. It is so, so, so pigmented. You really want to make sure that you barely put anything on your brush and then apply it to your face. I will remember from now on. And this is the only thing I'm using that's not from the drugstore, but it's super affordable. So then I'm going to take the blush shade that's in there, the one in the top corner, and it is just a bright pink shade, and I just thought it was a good color to go with this look. So then I'm going to apply my mascara, and what I'm doing today is I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic for length. And then over top of that, I'm going to add my L'Oreal Voluminous for the volume. So sometimes I like to combine the two to really get a good amount of length and volume together in the same look. And I really like the effect that that gives, especially if I'm not wearing false lashes like today. And for my bottom lashes, I am using the L'Oreal Telescopic. It has the perfect small brush for really getting those lower lashes without making a mess. For my lips, I'm so sorry guys, I somehow did not get this on camera, but I mixed Sugar Cookie and Cupcake from NYX. I didn't like either pink alone, but I like them mixed together for this look. And that is the finished look. I really think that this is the perfect daytime Valentine's Day look. It's girly, but it's fun, and it's romantic, and I just really love it. Um, I hope that you guys like it as well. Don't forget to check out Amber's video. I will have it linked below. She'll be doing the nighttime Valentine's Day look using high-end products. Um, if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like it, comment, and subscribe for future updates from me. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys!